Hey guys, it is Sunday, June 9th, 2018, and I am going to start filming a new series. I don't know yet what I'm going to call it for sure, but something like The Moving Diaries. So by the time you see this, we will be in either the finalizing stages of or have already done a move. A big move, a cross state move. <laughs> so, after 20 plus years in our house that we're in in San Jose, California, we bought this house in 1993. My husband and I have decided to accept a transfer of work for him to the Portland, Oregon area. We are currently in the process of house hunting up there and getting our San Jose house ready to sell. Our idea is to buy a house in Oregon, move into it, and then sell this one quickly and pay off all the banks and, yeah, everything. So, anyway, I'm not going to get into any details because that's nobody's business. No offense to anybody there watching. But, yeah, that's a rough synopsis of what's going on. We've been planning it for two or three years, so it's not a new out-of-the-blue idea, although I don't think that we thought we would do it this year opportunities sort of just presented themselves in a way that made us think that maybe we should consider doing it this year. It all hinges, of course, on us finding a property in Oregon, which we haven't done yet. That being said, we are flying up a week from yesterday, so we're going up on the 16th of June, and we are Father's Day weekend, <laughs> and we are going to be looking at properties with a realtor up in Oregon. When I get back, I have to start packing up parts of the house here so that we can get some work done and some cleanup done in this house to get it listed on the market quickly after we get moved out. Um, we don't want to be holding on to the property here for too long. Um, that being said, that means I have to pack up the yard. I'm not bothered by the enormity of packing up the house. We've been purging um, for almost as long as we knew that this was going to happen, uh, two or three years. So we have done a lot of purging. That doesn't mean we won't still find more stuff to get rid of, but we've already done a lot of purging and I'm not really super bothered by how much there is to pack, like in this room, as much as not having access to my stuff for like a month or more. So as I'm packing, I'm going to be making sure that I have things that I've left out to continue to work with and do art with not only for YouTube and commitments, but for myself for therapy because it is partly therapy for me. I have this, ooh, this Ikea cart behind me. There's actually another one out in the front of the house. I'm going to keep them um, out as long as possible and they're going to be filled with the things I need and the rest of this behind me will all be packed. So when we get back from Portland, I'll be starting packing this office, my husband's office, the guest room, the laundry room, because of those are the immediate rooms that need some work done in them. Yeah, yeah. It's a scary, nerve wracking, anxiety driven process. I don't know some days what I was thinking. At the same time, I'm excited about it. But to say I'm not worried, that would be a lie. My um, husband and I both are very nervous about the move. And as an adult, I have never lived outside of the state of California. So that's a thing. <laughs> My husband, on the other hand, ha while he's been here a very long time, is originally from New York City. So for him, moving across state is something he has, although it's been a long time, has done before. Yeah, I've never done it, so I don't know. <laughs> We're going to be taking a certain amount of stuff with us on the initial move, and then the rest of it's going to come by a moving company of some sort. We don't know yet that either. I don't know. And I, my anxiety doesn't do well with not having a plan for everything. And when you're doing this, those of you out here there who have done it, you know you can't plan everything. <sighs> what was I thinking? I don't know. What was I thinking? Ugh. Anyway, so that's what's been going on with me, and that's the business I've been talking about for months now um, when I'm talking about in the vlog and social media about there being lots of business things going on. It's planning for the move, arranging finances, talking to bank people, talking to real estate people, 
looking at properties, flying up to Portland for the day. You get the idea. So I'm going to try to do these once a week uh, until the move. I'm going to put them in a folder on the computer, and at some point we'll start airing them on YouTube, The Moving Diaries. Oh, boy. From the point of view of an, a paranoid, impatient pessimist who likes to be in control and has anxiety issues and depression and needs art for therapy. And I don't know what I'm just thinking. <laughs> I think in the long run, it's going to be a good thing. In the meantime, if I don't drive myself and everybody around me crazy, it'll be a miracle. All right, that's it for today. I'll keep you all posted and let you know what happens. Bye. Monday morning, June 11th, and I'm waiting on contractor people. <laughs> I've already filmed uh, four videos for my creative year 2018 for November. Um, and I'm working on my giant life, which is drawing right there. And I'm going to try to get November done today and then December done tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, I need to look at the calendar in my wallet and make sure I'm not missing any appointments this week. Because it's going to start to get like that. I have to make lists. I have to make notes. And I have to put things on my calendar because I'm starting to get stressed and forget things. And the little woman attitude I'm starting to get from some people is not helping me. And all you women out there, especially those of a certain age, know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, we had a painting contractor here doing some painting outside the house. And they've been rude and abrupt with me and um, insisted on being paid. Even when the realtor said, don't pay them right away, I need to check, double check their work. Uh, but they were rude and um, not very nice, so I paid them. Um, and the realtor didn't believe me that their attitude was that way towards me. And then when they came back to do some cleanup because they did a sloppy ass job, um, um, they were speaking very rudely to me at the doorway. My husband was just out of their line of sight and he heard every word they said and he was just standing there in shock and then came around the corner and their attitude completely changed. And they insisted that they were here to do something other than the cleanup, which they weren't there to do. Anyway, in short, my husband had a talk with the realtor and said, I heard them today. This is how they've been to my wife. It's not okay. Um, and we're getting a little bit of it from the realtor too, although he's a friend and I can deal with Dave because I'll just tell him WTF. Um, but these painter people, I don't know them. Anyway, it's just I'm getting sick of the attitude and combine that with the stress of looking for a new house, which we don't have yet, trying to get this one fixed up so that we can put it on the market and all of that and getting my stuff packed and everything else. Um, it's just very stressful. So that's where I'm at this morning. <laughs> so in between waiting for people, I'm getting my art therapy on and I'm filming. I need to film anyway. So I'm filming for November and getting that done. And I am, as I'm doing it, pulling out my favorite art supplies, things that I find that I'm grabbing. And because I'm going to leave a certain amount of stuff out and it's going to be with me during this process, um, the rest of the surplus will be packed. But I'll have enough things to make myself happy and create with and my commitments will be done. So bonus points. So that's why all these bags are on the floor. So, <laughs> so anyway. Uh, we leave Saturday to go to Portland just for the day to look at properties. We want to squeeze in as much as we can. We're there for the whole day. So <sighs> cross your fingers, everybody, and send some good energy out there that we find something. I'll keep you all posted. You're not going to see these videos right away, but, um, yeah, I'll keep you all posted on what's going on. This is my journey. The Moving Diaries. Yeah. I'll be back. 3.55 in the morning, and we are getting ready to go out to... The airport we're flying up to Portland for the day we're not we're coming home today but we're not coming home until late this evening we are headed up to look at properties cross your fingers we find one we both like and that we put an offer in and it's accepted that's a lot of hopes but <laughs> this is just the first round so I don't know what are the chances we get lucky the first time out all right Anyway, I'll be back.
I think our heads are both swimming, but I think we found one that we might want to put an offer on. So we are asking a few more questions before we sign on any dotted lines. And uh, yeah, we'll let y'all know how it goes. Feet. Exit to the right. There you go. We're still stressed out, but you know, it's part of the process. So anyway, uh, if you have any exit questions... Exit to the right onto exit 288, <laughs> I-205 North, West Lynn, Oregon City. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any tips on moving in the relocating process and the stress involved in relocating your life, uh, you know, leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear them and let's share and help support each other. That's it for today. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. See you later.